Nick Robinson, I have great news. What? What? What's the news? There's more of one of the best games ever made, and it's totally free. Portal Can 3? I... Yes, it's Portal 3. Kind of. Not really, but a little bit. Sort of. If you squint your eyes and use your imagination, it's kind of like Portal 3. Uh, it's actually Portal Stories Mel, mm. which is uh, a pretty rad name for a video game. I feel like all video games should have the name Mel in them included somewhere. Sure, why not? It's a powerful name. Uh, and this is a free fan-made mod uh, of uh, Portal 2. And I feel like just saying fan-made mod, like, sort of uh, has connotations, yeah. perhaps negative connotations. I was, uh, I, like, not to be rude, but I was going to say it doesn't look it. <laughs> like, it, it looks like... I've, I've, I, I don't want to say real video game, but it looks like a real video game. That, that's why I wanted to show it off. Obviously, like, I, I, not to disparage fan-made mods, like right. they are the, the like backbone of everything I love about PC gaming. This is one of the most impressive mods of, made by made by a like uh, unofficial team, I guess you could call it, mm -hmm. uh, that I have maybe ever played. Uh, it is gigantic. It is its own uh, has its own sort of self-contained storyline uh, about a aperture science tester named Mel. Uh, it's set in the 50s and sort of like the throwback uh, aperture science area that you mm -hmm. get to in Portal 2. Uh, it is fully like uh, voice acted, Jeez. which is very impressive. You have like uh, unofficial voice actors doing like their best like Cave Johnson and their best uh, like uh, uh, artificial personality core How? and like so, all of these different uh, sort of facets of the game that have been remade for existing characters like Cave. How do you how do you feel they did? Does it does it line up with the the original performance or uh, not a hundred percent? No, that was J.K. Simmons, right? Yeah, it was. I believe because I, I, every time I think of Cave Johnson, I imagine J. Jonah Jameson. So that explains yeah. why that is. I I think of the music instructor from Whiplash. So I, I think that's right. Um, right. I mean, it doesn't sound anything like him, but it's like a great performance. It's, cool. It, it really is. It's it's really engrossing. Like the production qualities are so great. This is like the old school. This is their take on the old school portal gun, and it's really charming. It's got like a paperclip attached to Aww. the end of it. Um, How's the so, jokes? Yeah, the the jokes are good. The 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 storyline is really good. Uh, the new personality core that you're like working with to try and get through this facility is very memorable. Here is what I will say is sort of the standout feature of Portal Stories, Mel. Other than the fact that it's free and gigantic, and you should play it if you like Portal, uh, and you own Portal Two on Steam, uh, it's so hard. Oh my God, the puzzles are hard. Huh. Um, a lot of them are in like these puzzle spheres, so they're like sort of familiar to the tests that you know and love from the Portal games. But a lot of it is a take on these sort of environmental puzzles that the Portal games sometimes throw at you. Like this one, that one just sort of throws you in a derelict building, and you have to sort of find the structures that you can put portals on huh. and figure out how to use those to get out of the building. And there is no handholding whatsoever. It's so hard. Uh, this is one of those puzzle spheres. And what makes these like puzzles really difficult and really memorable is that they have you like double back on yourself like dozens of times in the span of a single test. Hmm. Uh, full disclosure, I had died like doing this test like a bunch. So this, you, you see me running through this actually relatively quickly because uh, I had done it a few times, right. but like this is an example of what I'm talking about. Like you have to put the button, uh, put the cube on the button to go in the other room to get to the goo portal, and then put the goo portal back into the other room. Right. So you have a jump pad to jump up through the portal so you can get the cube into the second room Jeez. and create like a launch. Th this and this is the first puzzle that they throw at. Really, you. this is like, literally number one. Yeah, so they are expect. Well, no, there's like some a, a few things. This is sure. the first like puzzle sphere that you get thrown into. God. This game expects that you are like really, really, really good at portal uh and and the the it's great because like it's obviously not as big as portal i think it's like five chapters which mm -hmm. is pretty pretty you know big for a a, a game of this of this you know type mm -hmm. um but you're gonna take just as long getting through it because these tests are so 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 hard um and and i don't know it's it's really rewarding when you can figure out exactly how to do it so there i made a runway with a launch pad at the end and you gotta use that to get over to this pillar, and then you use that to put blue goo down on this pillar and create a portal that you can jump through. And then once you've got that going, you can jump back through it and then create like a, a oh my. portal for you to like launch yourself through. It's it's insanity. I like lost perspective for a minute. I up was down. It's no kidding. Like I, when I was editing this video, I was trying to remember. Like it's probably very disorienting watching this now. But when I was editing the video, I was like watching it, trying to remember what I was doing, and I couldn't. It's like one of those great sort of puzzle trances that you get in mm -hmm. in like a really good puzzle game where 
in the moment, like you are so busy unpacking it that you can remember all of the different facets. And then as soon as you walk through the exit, yep. like I'm about to do, that's the, the exit. Uh, I immediately forget everything. Yeah, in hindsight, it just your brain wipes itself. Is this on Steam? Yeah, it's on Steam. Uh, you can grab it, I think, through the workshop, or it actually should show up in a, uh, a Steam search That's so for cool. Portal Stories Mel. Um, but yeah, it's it's it really is one of the best mods I've ever played. I can't believe it was made by it was made by a, 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 a team uh, called Prism Studios, uh, and they've done some other Portal stuff before in the past. But this is the sort of biggest endeavor that they've uh, ever taken on, and uh, it's really, really, really impressive. Um, I'm going to keep this video pretty short because I don't want to ruin uh, any more of the puzzles. This is another one that has sort of a crazy solution to it. Um, but yeah, this is Portal Stories Mel. You can find it on Steam. Uh, you need Portal 2 in order to play it, but I can't imagine Portal 2 costs very much nowadays. $3.75 probably. Is that's it my, really? That's, that's my guess. I'm just ballparking it. Yeah, There's maybe. usually a sale happening at all times. Uh, but yeah, this is Portal Stories Mel. Go check it out.